uh, for this game alone. So in these highlights, just pay attention to what he's doing, right? I mean, early game, not that big of a deal, big mistakes, but the turnaround is important. Because once you get Fabian, in, and especially when he has his alt blade Tempest available, that's when he can really start to overextend and search for these picks as much as possible. Generally, as the game continues to devolve further and further, that's when you start to see, right? He don't. He's trying to make sure that he's protecting the bottom side of his map to make sure that Skylar can actually scale, but that's pulling away from how effective Sutsujin needs a setup. Needs even even soft CC would have been fine. Just the slow would have been nice. Yeah, and you said it, right? Because RQ had to really kind of win the early game to get the composition going. And the fact that Alan Chiki won that little skirmish and needed a turtle, uh, turtle buff, and he was able to get two kills, it just enables him to then rush into a 10 minute Holy Crystal. And that Nate, uh, and that Natan, if it scales towards the late game with the Ling as well on the wings, it is just so scary for RQ. And you can see that RQ fell behind so far back, so far back that even Diron on the CC can't even deal with, with the Hilda. Right, this Hilda EXP is standing on a hundred percent win rate, dude. Like, what is going on? It, the chase potential. You thought that the slow was coming from the Eve? No, it's the Hilda, bro. And at this point, it shows you again how, just how desperate the situation was. That Fabian was able to ignore the fight completely and just go for the crystal and casually still be able to just punish in the end. Anyways, it's looking kind of close, but honestly. I think towards the mid game, the recovery for RRQ. They're trying to make plays happen. They're trying to find, you know, some kind of pickoffs in the midst of the fights, and they were unable to get it. Wow, my goodness. What a team this is. Full of young blood. They're able to pull oh, ridiculous things like this. How but did of course, they to keep faster. The, tal uh, the, the emblems now. Anything in particular? Uh, well, what about you, Gideon? Uh, I'm scanning the emblem. Oh, interesting. So that's probably why Skylar was winning. He took Master Assassin in lane. Yep. That probably caught him up, uh, yeah. caught his opponent off guard there. Uh, generally, no, not too surprising here. The only thing that's surprising is the game time. I, I definitely thought that was, uh, was supposed to drag on just a wee bit longer, but finishing at 13 minutes, pretty fast here, considering that both sides. And I think this was brought up. Uh, uh, this was brought up earlier by a friend of ours who came by. But RQ. If they don't have that early game, the biggest issue is when they ha when your opponents have the Lord, they don't have much high ground defense, right? And how are you effectively going to clear these waves if Skylar isn't 3-4 items? Exactly, man. They just don't have the same kind of damage. So it's always been like a early game snowball composition, which is why you saw like the, you know, the, the hit back from Araki Hoshi in that early game. But Team Liquid again showing that we're not only one dimensional. Even if you kind of have a winning early game composition. Of the MVP of that game, the player of the game presented by the official tournament smartphone, Dang. Samsung Galaxy S24 Oof. FE. How does he get away with this? Picking Ling into such an unfav unfavorable position, an, an unfavorable composition as well, and he goes 12-3, becoming the foundation of Team Liquid ID to win that game. That is insanity. Well, I think a lot of it just comes down to the fact that he is... Well, there's a certain point where Ling d turns from Reaper to Initiator, right? There's a very big difference. So the early mid stages, he's looking to pick up as many advantages as he can from low targets. And I think he found a good a number of them, but at the same time, just keeping the high GPM overall. I mean, he's already at 879 as his average.